I, I'm like a huge believer that watch like them watching you exercise and be fit is super important, right? It's like there's there's so much research to back that if kids don't see their parents exercising, they're way less likely to exercise as adults. So the fact that you already have them doing it is amazing. I'm also thinking, especially for your daughter, to see you actually lifting weight and strength training is very, is powerful and it's important because a lot of women are told not to strength train, not to lift heavy weight. It's like, show her, show her that like she can and should lift weights and like be okay. And it's not going to make her be any less womanly. And it's not going to make her more of a man. It's like, then they have no answer for that. So it's like, it's people make up these ideas in their head that one exercise is better than the other. And it's just, it's all based on dogmatic bullshit. Okay, best bang for your buck, lower body exercise, upper body exercise, and core exercise. Obviously we're gonna go with deadlifts for, yeah. for lower body. Upper body, I'm gonna say eccentric emphasis push-ups. I, I think push-ups are severely underrated. Uh, but when you add in that eccentric emphasis, it helps you. You get a little bit of lat in there too, so you get you still get that back work in, even though it's just not necessarily a back focused exercise. But you you're forced to get it in when you do the eccentric emphasis. And then for core, I would say a long lever hollow body hold into a sit up. Uh, and oh. So I'm gonna go with that because you get you get the benefits. You get a lot of different benefits with that. You get the isometric hold for and the like the of the hollow body which i think is super powerful and super beneficial for a lot of different movements but then you get the dynamic action of going into a sit up and keeping it in mind it's like a good sit up it's like not like a ridiculous one uh, not like all momentum based all muscle based and then on the way back down, going really, really slowly. So you almost get sort of like that reverse crunch involved, like that, just like the eccentric emphasis on the way down too. So I think that is probably, you get the best of the isometric and you get the dynamic uh, on the concentric and then you also get the eccentric emphasis on the way down. That's it, 100%. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is amazing. These are great answers. Well, you're amazing. These, this was a lot of fun. Uh, I had a blast. Thank you for the questions. Is there anything that you wanted to end on? What's up everybody, I hope you're doing well. Rico and I got in from Vegas late last night, back to New York, been doing a bunch of work, got a little bit of a late start today. Um, just got off a podcast with Susan, really exciting podcast. I'm excited for you to listen to it. So for the rest of the day, I am gonna do an Inner Circle Live at, I think it's at 3.30 p.m. So we're gonna do that. Going to go to the gym, get a shoulders workout in and uh, I have to buy a new suit. I have a wedding, my buddy's wedding. This is the invitation, looks really nice. Uh, this Saturday, so today is Thursday. I have to get a new suit and make sure it's tailored by Saturday. I'm a good planner. I'm definitely goose egging my inbox tonight. <laughs> so catch you guys later. If you're in a bind for a really quick shoulder or for quick workout in general, I'm gonna show you exactly how I'm doing this shoulder workout. Got, a, got off a podcast with Susan, got an inner circle live in less than an hour, actually close to 45 minutes. So hustle to the gym, get this workout in, show you how to do it, then head back for the live. Jordan, I really Jordan, appreciate I that, man. Anyway. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. with some pre-fatigue. Start off with some lateral raises, uh, about three sets of 15 or 20 per side. Just pre-fatigue the muscles, get the muscles firing, really working before I start. Now going into some heavy shoulder presses, about three to four sets of eight to 10, depending on how I feel. Really 
want you to pay attention to the lowering portion. It's not going fast. If anything, the lowering portion is the slowest part of it. It's the eccentric portion of the lift. I think a lot of people, they struggle to make strength gains and muscle gains because they, they, they treat like it like every rep as though there's only the upward part. And then they sort of just whoo, come down. With it. That's where it's, you're missing 50% of the rep. Really slow on the way down. Also, keep in mind, I'm using less weight than usual in this workout. Gotta bang it out really fast so the rest periods are shorter. When you increase the length of that lowering portion, it makes it harder. Let's say you're in a gym with not a lot of weight. You can make less weight harder by making the lowering portion longer. Right now, it should probably, it's probably around three seconds and you can check my time next to the clock, see if I'm actually keeping that three seconds. So the way this works is it's an alternating dumbbell shoulder press. Difference is I do, I do alternate with an ascending ladder, right? So I do one side, then one, then I do two, and then I do two, then I do three, then I do three. And the thing to keep in mind is when I'm on the shoulder that's resting, okay? So let's say this is repping. This isn't just down here. It's not passively resting. It's an active rest, actively engaging this muscle. So if you see me start to drop a little bit and hang out here, that's no good. You want to make sure that the muscle's firing the entire set. I'm doing up to five per side. So one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. I think it's about 15 reps per arm per set. And you'll use way less weight than you would normally if you're just alternating back and forth rep for rep. Really good exercise. What I'm doing now, seated lateral shoulder raise, eight reps. So it's a relatively heavy one. I'm only gonna do one to two sets of it. I'm gonna lower the weight and go a higher rep. And it's called, I call it post potentiation activation. Fancy way, basically if you see a baseball player, when they're on deck, they weight the bat, right? And it's a slower swing, because it's heavier bat. But then they, when, when they go up to bat, they can get the bat speed, it increases. So basically my way of starting off heavy, so then I can go to a lighter weight and get more reps and maybe get more reps and more quality reps at, a, at that weight than I would have if I just started there. It's a little neural trick you can play in your brain. Just to clarify, I'm not doing rear delts. I'm not doing the back of my shoulders. Can't even reach. I'm not doing the back of my shoulders today. I'm gonna do my back tomorrow. And your rear delts play a big role when you do back exercise. So I'd rather not fatigue them out now, overtrain them now, so I can't train back tomorrow. So doing front and side today, tomorrow will be overall back, and that includes my rear delts. Last set, best set. <sighs> Done. Five exercises, 30 minutes. Good workout. Rico and I are gonna head out now, Inner Circle Live, but the full workout is gonna be right here.
<laughs> shoulders are burning. <laughs> My shoulders, I don't know if you heard, I did over a thousand reps. Oh, Veronica, I didn't know you'd be here. You invited me into your office, huh, did I? Oh, I don't know if you heard, I did over a thousand reps. <laughs> Such a good movie. Oh, here we go. Jason! Hey! What's up, man? Good. How you doing? Good, good, good. Jason, this is Rico. Rico, this Hi, is Jason. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Jason's the king of shakes of New York City. <laughs> cold today? Oh, man, it's fucking cold. Yes. It is really fucking cold today. Frozen. Let's see, Jason. What should I get today? What should I get today? Well, you know, I'm going to get a new one. Oh. Check this out. He knows every single one of these by heart. I'm not going to tell him the name. I'm just going to tell him the number. Um, Jason, I'm gonna get A7. A7, chocolate chip. Chocolate champ, you know it. <laughs> What's up? Yes, sir. Oh, that looks good. Thank you, Jason. You're welcome. How's your mom? It's okay. She's good? She's okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, Jason. I appreciate no you, man. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Have a nice day. Have a good, good day, man. He worked so hard, that guy. I came back from uh, after the holidays, after Israel, after uh, Florida with Gary, and I was like, hey, man, how are your holidays? He was like, good, good. Uh, Christmas, I only worked a half day. <laughs> and, on, and I was like, on New Year's, he's like, only worked a half day. I was like, man, he's there every day from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and then he has an hour commute to Brooklyn. Fucking crazy. He's the only one that works there. Man, that's good. You want to taste? It's fucking good. Um, got some cacao. Got some banana. Got some uh, cacao, banana. Some coconut. Um, some peanut butter. And I know from experience watching Jason, he, he likes, he's got a heavy peanut butter hand and he likes to give me extra which I respect, but I always tell him, like, give me half the amount because super easy to get what you might think is a serving in peanut butter, but it might, it's probably closer to three servings. So instead of 200 calories, you got 600 calories. So get half the serving. So it's probably around 200 calories just from that. And then some whey protein and, and then we call it a shake. Ryan, good to see you, man. Joining in, what's up, man? Good to see you. Keeping in mind that in order to be in a calorie deficit, you might not always be eating the same amount of calories, and that's really important. And to expand on that, if you're in a calorie deficit, then hunger will be a part of that. Or maybe, for example, a potato. A, pa a potato tends to be more filling than we'll call it rice, right? So potatoes tend to be more filling for fewer calories. So maybe instead of having potato, you have rice. Or maybe instead of having a potato, you have a, a couple bowl, you have a bowl of cereal or two bowls of cereal. Now all of a sudden you can get more calories in and you're good. What's up, just got off an Inner Circle Live. It went really well. I am gonna go buy a suit now for my buddy's wedding. But first, the Clean Eats Today company just delivered some new food and it's a complete surprise. They're like, what food do you want? I was like, these are the calories that I want, so you can surprise me and tell me. So let's see what ones they gave me. They gave, oh, this looks nice. They got some shrimps, some shrimps with rice and broccoli, some steak, broccoli and rice, looks like some beef tacos. Good sweet potato, nice. Some more salmon, nice, all right. So what's the meal you're going with? So that? I'm gonna go with, I'm, I'm a big shrimps person. My girlfriend and I have an inside joke. We always call shrimp shrimps. It's a stupid joke, but it's funny. Uh, there's only one? Even if there's only one, it's always a shrimps. It's, it's just always a plural shrimp. So we got shrimps, shrimpses, and then we got rice, broccoli. This is super low calorie, very high protein. Uh, it's just a really good post-workout meal. I had that shake, but getting hungry again, to go get that suit. And I've actually, I mean, I've had nice suits before, but for my bar mitzvah, I think it's the last suit that I really had when I was like 13. I hate, hate wearing suits. 
So I've been delaying this. Now it's about like, I think it's like 48 hours until the wedding and I gotta go get fitted for a suit and get that shit taken care of. So Rico and I are gonna go do, go do that and then maybe actually meet someone for coffee for like a Q and A. Someone messaged me on Instagram, they're in New York, they wanted to see if they could just shoot the shit, buy me coffee. And I'll basically never say no to someone who wants to buy me coffee. So we're gonna go do that. Like now that I could go to to get a, um, a suit? What even would you call that? A suit store? That that is exactly what I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a suit store? The pants store? I don't know. Where do you buy a suit? A department store? Yeah. I don't know. I was like, you know, like the way you texted me, I was like, oh my god, is Jordan like bleeding on the floor of the apartment alone? Like, what's up? No, like, that would be way less of an emergency. Uh, now we're going to get a suit. I told Rico earlier when I would be younger and like if I was going to a friend's sleepover or something and I put my bag, my, my clothes in a plastic bag, she'd be like, ah, Jordan, they're gonna think we're poor. <laughs> I'd be like, no, they're not. <laughs> so, gotta go get a nice suit for my buddy's wedding. That's pretty much it. All right, the slim fit suit. Or the standard fit. I think probably I'll take a slim, right? Hi, how are you? Looking for help buying a suit, because I know nothing about anything. I got a wedding on Saturday. I, I honestly couldn't tell you. <laughs> so who am I dealing with here? Who am I dealing with here? <laughs> I, I'm not the, uh, the most fashionable person. No, no, I no, usually wear sweatpants. He was like, you're probably going to need it altered. So I think we might just want to go to another fucking store. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Thank you. We still want to try to see um, what size actually fits. That's still uh, extra slim though, but this is a oops. 36S. Got it. Okay. Let's see. Better? It's a little tight, I think. You tell still me. Still tight? You tell me. I mean, I don't... Yeah. This is awful. Like this is so not fun for me. <laughs> but that olive one. Boom. All right. Boom. Thank you. Let's uh, let's go for a forty store. Let's see where we go from there. That looks better already. Yeah. Yeah. A thousand percent. Yeah, I like that. Deadlifts managed. This, hey, yeah, I think this is better. You tell better? me. I think it's better. If it's right, better. Then. Go for it. All right. Now, <laughs> what about the pants? Are the pants still uh, These? the same or are they still a little on the loose, tight? Honestly, they. I think these feel better. I think these actually feel and look better. Okay. And, then, and, and so, so, so the size 30 by 30 still works for you with these. I th what do you think, Rico? Did you try sitting? And, no. are the, and are these extra slim or slim? Oops. You like this or no? I like that. I think this is nice. Do you feel better than you like it? I think it's the best option for sure. And it will also mean more money off of your next purchase once you accumulate enough points. Got it. Understood. Uh, Probably just not. Just to consider all. Thank you, I appreciate it. Just to consider it, but uh, um, if everything else will, uh, you can uh, pay for it all upstairs. Awesome. Hey, thank you so much. I really no appreciate problem. your help. If you still, if you what, have any other name? questions, name? my name is Jerron. Jerron any Jordan. Any other questions, don't hesitate to ask me or anyone else you see on the floor. Thank you We're so much. And available for you. I appreciate you, Jerron. Thank you. Have a good night. Get the fuck out of here. Someone messaged me on Instagram. They're in New York. They wanted to see if they could just shoot the shit, buy me coffee. And I'll basically never say no to someone who wants to buy me coffee. So what are you doing oh fitness wise? Tell me like what's going on with you. Uh, so so really it's it's getting in a certain amount of fitness within my week just to stay like just to stay mentally sane. Okay. So if I go for more than an hour, I start to get really annoyed about everything else I need to be doing. Okay. Uh, so yeah, two? two. How old are they? Twelve and eight. Twelve and eight. Okay. Yeah. Good. <laughs> and do they work out with you? Sometimes. I, I'm like a huge believer that watch, like them watching you exercise and be fit is super important, right? It's like 
there's there's so much research to back that if kids don't see their parents exercising, they're way less likely to exercise as adults. So the fact that you already have them doing it is amazing. I'm also thinking, especially for your daughter, to see you actually lifting weight and strength training is very is powerful and it's important because a lot of women are told not to strength train, not to lift heavy weight. It's like show her, show her that like she can and should lift weights and like be okay. And it's not going to make her be any less womanly. And it's not going to make her more of a man. Like, it's a really good idea. That's a really because I didn't really, and they know that I exercise. They know what I do, but I don't usually do it with them. Like, we do yeah, it, just, but and just be like, hey, let's grab routine. some cans, like throw some yeah. weight on, like you're strong, pick up some weights, and just like do ten squats with me, and then cool, like stuff like that. I think is really important for kids. I'll work on getting stronger, right? Okay. All right. I will. I'm gonna head out, but yeah. I want to get a hug. This is perfect.